All right, how you doing folks? It's Ryan here at the Louisiana Academy of Performing Arts and we have a tech video for you today. We're gonna to be discussing wireless headset mics for theater use. So we have a brand new original musical that our faculty and staff have written that's premiering within the next week called The Night Before New Year's. So we're very excited about this production and in preparing, however, we realized that we were short a number of headset mics. So we began to do some research online and try to figure out what is the best headset mic for our budget, you know, X number of dollars. And surprisingly, there weren't a whole lot of audio demos out there. Um, there were specs and that kind of thing and, you know, just general, here's what it looks like, but nothing as far as being able to listen to all of the mics. So I thought while we're doing all of this research, why not document it and possibly help you out to find the best theater mic for your program. And so that's what we did. Uh, we have five microphones that we've purchased and we have reviewed. Um, you're going to first see me uh, open each one for you, inspect the build quality, give my initial impressions, and then we'll go ahead and listen to our faculty and staff demo them uh, with music from our new musical. A couple of housekeeping notes. Number one, we are using the Sennheiser G4 wireless transmitters and receivers, just so you know that. Number two, you are hearing the microphones as they sound right out of the box. So no EQ has been added. All we're doing is balancing the gain so that they're all equally as loud or as close to it as possible. We will be sprinkling in just a touch of reverb for everyone's enjoyment. And so now let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we begin with the Sennheiser HSP Essential Omni EW Wireless. Um, these retail for $249.95, and um, these were one of the first uh, headset mics that we purchased years ago now. Um, they've held up well. They do a great job, sound great. What I don't like about them, um, number one is this bag pouch thing. I wish it had a case, but it's this drawstring bag. It's awkward to pack. I don't know how much protection it gets in this. Um, so really you have to put these in a hard case. Um, but let's get it out of the case. So once you get it out of the bag, this is pretty much what you get. Um, I think there's an extra windscreen as well in there, but it comes detached. And so here's the um, actual headset here. Um, you have the two ear loops, and then you have this system of clips that connects the um, microphone to the headset. And this is the biggest drawback <laughs> to this um, particular headset. And I know other headsets use the clips too, but they're, this one in particular just seems to be difficult to work with for whatever reason. Also, one of our clips has broken, this middle clip here. Um, after a few years of use, um, I think that's just to be expected with clips like this. They're very small and they're prone to breaking. So something to consider. Motion is pretty easy, um, especially without the microphone attached. So I don't know how helpful that is um, to note, but it's pretty easy to move this now. So now we will do the fun part. Are you ready? We're going to try to put this on and attach it to the headset. So here we go. Okay, so there you go, the Sennheiser HSP Essential Omni. We have the wire and mic attached now. Let's see how it sounds. Hello, 
My name is Killian Avzalirod. I'm a faculty member here at the Louisiana Academy of Performing Arts. And today I will be singing an excerpt from the song, I Just Want to Swim, which I have written for the Lapa original musical, The Night Before New Year's. But now I come alive with a perfect swan dive. Like a dream, I can fly on earth the sea. Can I tell you something? Honestly? I just want to swim. Swim away with me. In the water I go. What is the with him? What about the team? I don't care about the weather up here. In the deeps where I long to be. I just want to swim. I just want to be free. Hi, my name is Rachel Terrio. I'm the administrative director here at LAPA. Um, I'm going to be singing Party of the Year from The Night Before New Year's, an original musical that I co-wrote. Two million followers and counting. Sure. How about tonight we get a million more? It's the biggest party of the year and you're not ready for what's in store. Penny brought her sister to the party. Lame. Sage White is absolutely slaying. Same. Molly Meekler spilled soda all over her pants. Is anyone surprised? Did you see her try to dance? She was staring right at Sage like she even had a chance. Oh, I made a mistake. The night's not going so great. I should have stayed home. I made a mess all on myself and now I'm sitting here alone. Where's Sage? Was he looking? Do you think that he saw? Saw all his pics on beep poop and I couldn't find one flaw. I should go. I don't belong. Now I'm stuck in the corner with these wet pants on. Okay, next we have the Samson DE-10X. This retails for $79, and it comes in this nice soft case. Um, so we're going to go ahead and open it up. Not only do we have the headset, but we also have a bunch of cables. So this um, headset includes cables for all the most popular wireless systems. So you got, looks like this is a Shure, I think, um, by default. Over here, we're not going to use that one, so we'll put it off to the side. But you got your Sennheiser um, connector here. We'll keep that one kind of handy. And then you have, um, looks like a four pin here. And we have a three pin also. So uh, that does mean that we can change the cable on this particular headset. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing yet. So like I said, our Sennheiser has been rock solid with the cable. No issues with that. As far as the headset itself, um, it does feel a little bit sturdier than the Sennheiser. The movement is a little bit easier. Um, you get these extra windscreens. And um, here's the connector to the headset. So that just screws in here. So it looks good. I think we'll go ahead and um, do an audio test of this one now. But now I come alive with the perfect swan dive. Like a dream, I can fly under the sea. Can I tell you something? Honestly? I just want to swim, swim away with me, 
in the water I go. What about the tea? I don't care about the weather up here. In the deeps where I long to be. I just want to swim. I just want to be free. million followers and counting. Sure, how about tonight we get a million more? It's the biggest party of the year and you're not ready for what's in store. Penny brought her sister to the party. Lame. Sage White is absolutely slaying. Same. Molly Meekler spilled soda all over her pants. Is anyone surprised to see her try to dance? She was staring right at Sage like she even had a chance. Oh, I made a mistake. Tonight's not going so great. I should have stayed home. I made a mess all on myself and now I'm sitting here alone. Where's Sage? Was he looking? Do you think that he saw? So all his tricks on beep poop and I couldn't find one flaw. I should go. I don't belong. Now I'm stuck in the corner with these wet pants on. All right, next up is the Countryman H60W6LSR. And uh, this retails for $4.95 uh, with the Countryman headsets in this uh, model, they have three different um, sensitivity options. So they have standard, then they have uh, vocal, then they have um, loud vocal or extreme vocal or something like that. So the mic is less sensitive um, the farther down the line you go. So our model is the one in the middle, which should be good for speaking and um, singing. Okay, so let's open it up. So one of the things that makes Countryman so popular is the thin profile of the microphone. They kind of just disappear um, on the actors um, because they're so small. You can adjust it uh, from both sides. So this moves really easily on this side. And then we'll also try to adjust it on this side. Moves very easily, very nice. There aren't any clips um, that look like they'd break easily. There's just this one main clip here, and everything else is built into the headset, which looks great to me. Let's talk about the connector a little bit. So I have read um, that people do experience problems with the connector on these um, Countryman sets. It does look like it's just a plug-in. So if you pull this out, it comes right out uh, versus the screw option that we saw in the Samson. And um, yeah, so that is a little concerning to me that you can just pull this right out. It's not screwed in. Looking over here, you also get a variety of um, little caps that can change the frequency response of the microphone a little bit. So if the microphones are especially hidden under thick clothing or something like that, and you wanna get a higher uh, frequency out of them, uh, these are for that purpose. Now we are ready to go ahead and see what the country man sounds like. But now I come alive with the perfect swan dive. Like a dream, I can fly under the sea. Can I tell you something? Honestly? I just want to swim. Swim away with me. In the water I go. What, is what, what about the tea? I don't care about the weather up here. Whoa. In the deeps where I long to be. I just want to swim. I just want to be free.
two million followers and counting. Sure, how about tonight we get a million more? It's the biggest party of the year and you're not ready for what's in store. Penny brought her sister to the party. Lame. Sage White is absolutely slaying. Same. Molly Meekler spilled soda all over her pants. Is anyone surprised? Did you see her try to dance? She was staring right at Sage like she even had a chance. Oh, I made a mistake. Tonight's not going so great. I should have stayed home. I made a mess all on myself and now I'm sitting here alone. Where is Sage? Was he looking? Do you think that he saw? So all his pics on beep boop and I couldn't find one flaw. I should go. I don't belong. Now I'm stuck in the corner with these wet pants on. All right, so next up, you've been waiting for it. This is the JK Mike J, uh, the Amazon special for $48.92. Um, and this comes with the Sennheiser cable, as indicated on this card. So all the other options, I would imagine, are available as well. Um, it comes in this plastic retail style case. It does not come in this black case. This is just to help me present it to you today. It is a detachable cable system. Um, you'll note right there. Um, that's where we plug in the cable. And as far as the mic itself, it's a very thin mic. It also does have the same kind of little clip things that I don't like on the Sennheiser. So I can foresee this being an issue. Those come off and come apart easily as they do on the Sennheiser. Well, I think the Sennheiser is actually a lot better. I, I need to say that. But this is definitely made a lot cheaper, as you might expect. I mean, it's $150 less than the Sennheiser. So let's see what the audio quality is like. But now I come alive with a perfect swan dive. Like a dream, I can fly under the sea. Can I tell you something? Honestly, I just want to swim. Swim away with me. In the water I go. What about the team? I don't care about the weather up here. In the deeps where I long to be. I just want to swim. I just want to be free. million followers and counting. Sure. How about tonight we get a million more? It's the biggest party of the year and you're not ready for what's in store. <laughs> Penny brought her sister to the party. Lame. Sage White is absolutely slaying. Same. Molly Meagler spilled soda all over her pants. Is anyone surprised? Have you seen her try to dance? She was staring right at Sage like she even had a chance. Oh, I made a mistake. Tonight's not going so great. I should have stayed home. I made a mess all on myself and now I'm sitting here alone. Where's Sage? Was he looking? Do you think that he saw? Saw all his pics on beep boop and I couldn't find one flaw. I should go. I don't belong. Now I'm stuck in the corner with these wet pants on. The final mic that we'll be taking a look at today is the DPA 4066 Core Omni. This microphone retails for $850. Um, this is one of the go-tos for uh, professional theater. Um, so you'll see these and hear these um, on Broadway, those kind of things. Um, so let's open it up. So now that it's out of the case here, we'll take a look at the form factor. Um, again, this is an extremely thin uh, profile mic. Motion is very good. Test motion on this side too. Let's see, yep. Very easy to adjust, that's nice. If you take a look now at the mic capsule, you'll note that it appears to be extremely well made. It's got some gold plating going on there, or 
I don't know, maybe that's just metal of some kind, but DPA is known for um, high quality mics, so I'm guessing that this is going to sound pretty good. Uh, you will notice that we have the clip system going on again that helps the uh, wire, the mic attached to the headset. These clips do appear to be the highest quality. They're very solid. So this is nowhere near like um, the JK. Um, they're definitely more solid than the Sennheiser as well. This is a permanent wire. You cannot change out the um, connector type. You also get a nice little um, mirror. So you can see yourself as you put on your DPA headset and you can make sure that you have properly aligned the microphone with your smile here as we see in this picture and you do not want to do it in this picture um, up by your nose that will not sound good so that's also very helpful but now I come alive with the perfect swan dive. Like a dream, I can fly on to the sea. Can I tell you something? Honestly? I just want to swim, swim away with me, in the water I go, what about the team, I don't care about the weather up here, in the deeps where I long to be, I just want to swim, I just want to be free. million followers and counting. Sure. How about tonight we get a million more? It's the biggest party of the year and you're not ready for what's in store. Penny brought her sister to the party. Lame. Sage White is absolutely slaying. Same. Molly Meekler spilled soda all over her pants. Is anyone surprised? Did you see her try to dance? She was staring right at Sage like she even had a chance. Oh, I made a mistake. Night's not going so great. I should have stayed home. I made a mess all on myself and now I'm sitting here alone. Where is Sage? Was he looking? Do you think that he saw? I saw all his pigs on bee poop and I couldn't find one flaw. I should go. I don't belong. Now I'm stuck in the corner with these wet pants on. All right, so now we'll go ahead and talk about my impressions for each one of the mics. We'll start with the Sennheiser. The Sennheiser for me falls somewhere in the middle as far as overall satisfaction. What struck me about the Sennheiser compared to the other mics is that it has a really short boom. So we weren't able to place it as close to the edge of the performer's mouth as we would have liked to, resulting in a less clear sound. It was more boxy, uh, more mid-frequency uh, sound. You can adjust that with EQ, of course, but again, we're kind of comparing right out of the box. So next up was the Samson. The Samson had a great case, as I mentioned, great build quality. Um, the drawback for me was the high noise floor. When we adjusted the gain, it was the noisiest out of all the microphones. Um, so maybe that's not a deal breaker if you have a very loud performer. This might be a great mic for them where you don't need a lot of gain. Our next mic was the Countryman. The Countryman, I felt, performed very well. It was easy to work with, easy to position, great case, um, and the clarity was fantastic. I think it was my favorite out of all of them as far as, you know, just hearing the details of the performers without having to do any EQ. My concern is still the plug-on connector. There's no lock on it. So how long will this last before it has problems? I guess we will find out. The JK mic J is probably the best bang for the buck. Um, it sounded very decent to me. Um, it's very affordable. It was easy to position. And um, it had the highest amount of natural gain, so we didn't really have to crank it up at all. 
Um, honestly, my biggest concern is just the build quality. Um, so we are going to use this mic in our production, probably for the younger performers. Um, so if something breaks, it's not really a big deal. Uh, we just get another one. And finally, the DPA. What's not to love about the DPA? Sounded great, uh, very good build quality, easy to position and work with. Honestly, the only issue is the price. <laughs> So uh, we'll probably keep this one for one of our older actors, um, one of our lead roles. I think it'll function well in that sense. Um, however, are we going to be purchasing more? Sorry, kids. <laughs> so what was your favorite mic today? What mics do you use in your theater program? Let us know. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.